Good morning. Today is January 7th. Gotta say, building a cabin in the middle of the woods is turning out to be one of my better ideas. I feel like I bought Apple stock in the 80s. Uh, so the subject of today's video is going to be to try to figure out a way to winterize our cabin so that we can use the water system when it's below freezing out. So, well, it's kind of cold right now, but it's supposed to warm up. In the meantime, I've got the propane heater humming along. So when you build on piers, it presents a, a number of problems and it's generally not a good idea. Certainly in my situation, I would have been better served with a different foundation. And one of the problems that it presents is it's difficult to insulate underneath your cabin for your pipes. So I thought I was smarter than all the people who warned me not to build on piers. And when I built the cabin, I partially insulated the crawl space on three sides over here and I stacked all my plumbing on one side of the cabin. So we've got some supplies here. We've got some pressure treated two by fours and under the porch, I've got two sheets of two inch polystyrene. So phase one of this project is to take that polystyrene and finish insulating the part of the cabin where all my water pipes and my pump are located. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna run one, two, three, four, five, six, two by fours vertically to attach the foam to and you'll be able to pull out any panel if you need to get to anything under here. And then I'll probably go back to the place I got my metal roof and eventually clad that with some, um, some metal siding. And on the front, I want to use rocks from the creek. To... All right. So I got all these cut, gonna screw them in and then put some insulation up under here on the, um, on the uh, joist and then put the insulation on the outside. Okay, we're under my basement. Gonna get these up. Check it for level. Close enough. All right, we'll repeat that process and check back in. When All we're right, done. we've got our boards in that we're going to nail to. Um, now we're going to start putting the foam in. All right, so now that I got those um, nailers in. I'm going to put some insulation up on this joist um, because that uh, two by four is not the best insulative value. So I'm going to put some in between here. Um, I've got these little plastic washers. I think they're meant for roofing, but I'm going to use them for these screws and just hold that on there like that. There we go. All right, so we'll do this to the rest of the bays and then we'll come back and finish up. All right, so we got those in all the way across. Um, that was a pain, but we did it. Sounds like my friend Arch is here to help. You guys may know Arch from my neck of the woods with Arch. Always nice to have reinforcements. My dad always says two heads are better than one, especially when one's cabbage. I wonder which one of us is cabbage. <laughs> found a dog. Hey. What's that? I found a dog. 
Oh, was it on the street coming in? Yeah. Yeah, those dogs always run outside. You should probably put it back. Yeah. It's very friendly. <laughs> oh, is he in the back? Super friendly, and it almost got hit. Hey, buddy. He's got a collar. That's what I couldn't find a tag there. I would put him back where he found him, man. Like this is the country. People let their dogs run around out here. Going on with the boss, eh? <laughs> oh shoot, he's got some kind of cancer. You think someone just let him go? That's what I think, yeah. Oh man, poor oh, guy. Man. What's, What's the thing that happened with the, our dog? That's where they found him just on the side of the road. Really? Yeah. That's sad. Oh, and he had the exact same thing. He did. On balls like that. Poor guy. Hey, buddy. You gotta take him back and take know. care of him? Or? I'm just gonna take him maybe to a shelter or something. I don't know. Poor guy's got a... <laughs> he, needs a he needs a doctor. Though. Oh, poor guy. He's friendly as hell. Yeah. Is Beatrice here? I didn't no, know. Beatrice isn't here. Okay. You think he's abandoned? Yeah. can always uh, contact the county. Just in case people report him missing. Actually, actually, we were wrong. It's a it's a female dog. Um, after <laughs> closer inspection, <laughs> we didn't inspect that close. Don't worry. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get the dog some food and water, and then figure out what to do, and then we'll get back to work here. Need some water. You're not thirsty. I was say if, he, if she's not hungry, I mean she may have just wandered off from her home. No. You know she doesn't look skinny. She hasn't been out for long. I don't think. Arch is bringing it to the uh, animal rescue. They said they're basically a no-kill shelter, so hopefully find a home for it. If, if the owners, if the owners don't come forward for it. It'll be put up for adoption. Decided to give the excavator a little run. I'd like to operate it, but we're in the freeze-thaw cycle here and it, it's just it just is always muddy this time of year. The ground just freezes and unfreezes and the water never really goes anywhere. So, um, and this machine doesn't have a DPF, so idling it is fine. All right, I just got one piece put in. That one, I couldn't film it because that grounding wire had to be like sliced through there. It was tough to get in, but um, got that one in. Let's do some more. That was a struggle. Cut a little more out of here. Okay. 
almost. Perfect. Look at that. Okay, this is about as far as I want to go today. Um, so I've got an access hatch there, and then I've got an access hatch here. And I'm out of long screws, but we're gonna go in and work on phase two, and the next time I come back, we'll have enough screws to uh, finish this up. I guess I could cut these now, but I need to bring screws and spray foam to seal all the gaps. Right, well, I ran out of time today, so next we're gonna wire a thermostat to a relay. Um, and have it power a fan that blows warm air from the cabin down into the crawl space. So we'll get on that soon.